Well, the hits, uh, yeah, there hasn't been a lot of time, sack time, like for the ice making crew, including the uh, yeah, chief ice technician, Greg Owasco. It's uh, busy, very busy. The Bob Run, Canada Olympic Park, and the, there in the background, you see the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame is in the foreground there, and then in behind are the four hockey facilities, including this Wind Sport Arena, Canada Olympic Park, and all the work by Greg Oasco and his crew began on the 11th of February. And here was the installation. First of all, the rigging goes in for all the lights, the different scoreboards, the big screens that the players use to check their uh, respective houses. The 11th is when it started. They had to have it all done for first practice on the 18th. And of course, our play began on Friday night, the 19th. And now we're inside, so a lot of work goes into making this all happen. And there you see some of the, the grid work that holds our cameras and the lights that go up on either side, up and down the sheet. And then, of course, there are the four events during the next two months. So starting on the Sunday night, or likely Monday morning after this final, they'll come in here and they'll change all the advertisements, get them all out of the ice, repaint for the Tim Hortons bright, then they'll do it all again for the Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship, and then they'll do it all again for the BKT Tires, OK Tire Men's World Championship over the course of the next two months. What, what they've done already, as we just saw with the time lapse, is unheard of, absolutely un unbelievable, along with the rink boards, which are incredible, the, all the electronics on the side, which are, I just love that look, but what they're going to have to do between events, like last I heard, you can't make water freeze faster, and he's got, he's got so little time between events, it's, it's just unbelievable, it's going to be so late nights.